The Boy and the Heron is a coming to age story about a young man trying to find his stepmother in a magical world created by this guy, which I'll get back to in a minute. But it's much more than just that as the entire movie is about Maito processing the trauma of losing his mother, and the hole that she's left behind, an emptiness that he doesn't even know if he wants to fill, as he's closed off emotionally with most of the characters we see up until he gets to the other world. And also I don't think it's a coincidence that the majority of the side characters are older women, almost as if the story is trying to portray to us on a subtle level that the main character yearns for a female parental figure, which he struggles with up until the end when he chooses to go back with his stepmother, finally acknowledging her as a parent, letting go of the past and allowing his biological mother to meet her fate. He also declines the old man's offer to become his successor, forcing the old man to recognize that the world he's made has to come to an end, which I believe is a metaphor for Miyazaki's career as he's reaching the end of his life. If you enjoyed, consider subscribing to see more.